Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is, if you can imagine, about the app, all right, the new KW app that just recently launched on here. All right, and in this case, we can actually go through and access that app, and I want to show you one of the cool new features where you can actually go through and obviously draw on the map. So you can actually see homes that are around the area, how you can save searches on there for your clients to utilize, and more. All right, so we're going to take a look at a couple of these cool items on here that are now available for you. All right, so first thing first, what we we'll want to do is open the app. So if we click the KW app icon, once we've downloaded it, it's going to be the white background with the red KW. That'll open up this app immediately for us. All right, so as you can see, the first page we're going to see is where we can actually go through and search for properties. Now at the top up here, you can actually go through and change how you want to search. Or if you click on this little draw option up here, all right, so this little draw button, all right, much like over on our command side, we can actually draw around the area that we want to search for. And once we do that, then it's actually going to search for homes within that horribly drawn circle oval area on there. All right, so if this is the area that your clients want to, you know, search within, we can actually see all the properties that are available on here. All right, I can zoom in, I can zoom out. This will help to actually view all the different items that are available on here. And by items, I mean obviously properties at the end of the day. All right, of course, then we can also click this little heart icon if we want to save this to our collection, or we can even start a brand new collection. So think of this kind of like a, a save section for you to utilize at the end of the day. All right, this is going to make your life a lot easier, and it's going to allow, obviously, your clients to save different properties that they might want to take a look at later on, too. This will automatically link up with command, and it will save inside the collections that they have set up. So I have one already set up as Orlando Homes. I can make a new one over here, and maybe I want to put this as, uh, geez, Lake Baldwin area homes. And I'll click that save option on here. Awesome. So I'm going to uncheck that real quick, make sure it's only Lake Baldwin area homes we're saving this to. Perfect. And as you can see, I now have that little heart icon on there. It looks like it popped up right back over here in the background. And I had another heart over here, too, that I can go through and check out as well. So that way, if I want to come back to this later on, I'm definitely more than welcome to. All right. And of course, I can always click on the U option at the bottom right down here. All right. So if I click on that U option, I can access all my different settings in case I want to take a look at this. And then first and foremost, I can actually see who I'm linked up with. So make sure that you are obviously having your clients link up with yourself so you can see all this different information that they're adding in. And of course, obviously it links up with that heart icon. Here's the heart icon down here too for saved. Then I can actually go through and view all those different saved properties, my recent collections on here, or even recent saved searches. All right, so you can go through and update this at any time. So I just want to give you a quick overview of how simple it is to make new collections, how easy it is to save properties, and how your clients can start to utilize this app right away. All right, so the more that you know, the more that you can help out your clients, so they can start to utilize this fantastic new app immediately. So there you go. So that is your KW app tip for the day.